What's up YouTube, Electric Kicks here, back at it again with another video. And today we got something different. Summer is here and I'm gonna be going over my summer essentials, kind of what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis during the summer time. Uh, and it's a little bit hotter, so have to switch it up, different options. I'm gonna be going over my essential bottoms, my tops, and then we're gonna be going over some accessories well, I'm not really going to be going over sneakers, it's going to be on a separate video, but for that one it's kind of up to you, whatever you like and what you enjoy, but let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so starting with the denim, I have three pairs of jeans right here and I think there's three specific washes that everyone needs, especially if you're going to be rocking it during summer to give you more of a versatile look. Now, right now, I feel like there's been a popularity in just dark indigo raw denim, especially with a lot of people are starting to talk about Japanese denim and salvage denim. And here I have a pair of raw salvage denim from Japan. Now this is just a basic pair from Uniqlo. And I picked this pair up in Japan. They do have a wider option, more of a straight fit that I picked up over there that's not available here in the States. But there's thousands of options for raw denim. And I think this wash right here is just perfect and you can really give contrast to a lot of things that you're wearing especially if you wear a lot of white lighter colors more vibrant colors i feel like that dark really brings those other colors to life now for my second pair of denim you need to go with a light wash or a medium wash or just any sort of lighter wash that isn't going to be your raw indigo and i have a pair of jeans here from human made this one my favorite pair of denim Pick this pair up when I went to Japan as well. Uh, salvage denim, and the thing for that you want to be looking for, or what I specifically look for for a pair of jeans, especially for the summertime, is going to be those wash and fades all over the denim. I feel like that's what's going to give a lot more character to your outfit, and it's not going to look like a generic pair of denim that's just a straight one color. And that's really going to make your outfit look very basic, very simple, and I think having the wash and the fading and all of that on denim like this is gonna add a lot more to the outfit. Moving on to my third pair of denim, I have, I wanna say more of a gray wash pair of denim right here. This is from the brand called Haven Court and really like this pair. This is also selvage denim and look at that wash right there, that gray. It's more of a darker look. It's not black denim. And I think for the summertime, you want something a little bit more brighter and something not as dark. Fall time, winter time, black denim all the way, but summertime, I wanna really lighten it up and go with more of a gray wash denim that has that fading as well. Right here, I have a pair of pleated trousers from Uniqlo, it's gonna be in a tan color. And I think for the summertime, Going with those earth tones, still very, very trendy. And I still think it looks really, really great, especially paired with very simple colors. And whether it's another earth tone on the top, a white tee, a black tee, anything, just keep it super simple. This is super great. Very wide fitted and more on the baggy flowy side. And the next pair I have right here is gonna be some pleated trousers from Abercrombie and Fitch all black i really really do like these these are made out of polyester now you can find them right now in a lot of different variations they have a lot of linen variations and that material is very very good especially during the heat if you're layering and a lot of other places sell pleated trousers you just kind of have to look and find what you like and what's in your budget but linen for the summertime super great material for trousers and super baggy flowy and I think you can kind of dress these up and you can also dress these down, pair them with a nice pair of sneakers. Uh, really, really like these for the summertime. Moving on, where would I be without saying cargo pants? Yes, cargo pants are essential for my summer wardrobe, especially if I'm going more of that streetwear look, want to pair with some nice pair of Jordans, you know, uh, that's what I'm going to go with as my summer essential. Specifically in an olive green, I really like this color. I think it goes with a lot of things. You can kind of match it with anything, or you can kind of go more abstract and just pair it with crazy colors. I really like these. These are gonna be a pair of 
cargo slash parachute pants from GU uh, and super wide fitted. It's going to keep me nice and cool especially during the heat because of how wide they are and I think they look great with sneakers and it's kind of uh, pair with kind of whatever. So this is always going to be a staple in my summer wardrobe, especially in that olive green color. Very, very essential for me. Now, last but not least, summertime. You do need a pair of shorts. Personally, I'm not a fan of jorts or jean shorts. It's just not for me. I don't think it looks great to each their own. This is my opinion. But if I'm gonna go with a pair of shorts, has to be more on the techier side. Uh, linen shorts is also a great option. I didn't throw those in here because I typically don't wear shorts to begin with. No matter how hot it is, I'm probably rocking a pair of jeans. Uh, but I do have this pair of shorts from Nike, uh, the tech pack. More on the techier side if I want to pair this with a pair of hiking boots, maybe some Solomon XT6s. I think this looks really, really nice. More towards that techier or poor type of look or from you know pairing it to go on a hike this is my type of style when it comes to shorts more on the techier side um, but Nike tech uh, shorts right here really really like them now if you guys do like this type of content please hit that subscribe it really does mean a lot let's go ahead and move on to the next category all right moving on to the second category tops now this is something where I'm super picky especially during the summertime I think it's super important to figure out what you're wearing, especially the material, the fit, and especially if you plan on layering, being super smart about wearing very specific type of base layers for that. Because with the heat, that's one thing that definitely have you sweating. I don't wanna deal with that during the summertime. So here is going to be my selection of t-shirts that I will be wearing during the summer. Now, starting off, with the t-shirts this one is a very very popular option the uniqlo airism t now these are super great i personally like the fit of them how they look the shape now in terms of actually keeping them cool i'm not too big a fan of but i still will be wearing it from time to time during the summertime so i had to throw it on here uh, i'm just not a fan of that material and how it feels on my skin personally moving on to Another option from Uniqlo is going to be the Supima cotton tee. Now, I really, really love these t-shirts. These are a little bit more on the pricier side. I think these retail at $25 a t-shirt. And this is more of a slim fitting shirt. And I think right now, slim fitting shirts are really trendy. They look really great, especially with outfits, uh, baggier pants, more of a fitted top. I think that's a really good style right now. And these shirts, do wonders especially in the heat they're really lightweight super thin super breathable and they're made out of supima cotton really great quality i really love these t-shirts i will be wearing these a lot during the summer time now another alternative if you want something feeling similar to the supima cotton tee abercrombie makes a classic polished tee and these retail i want to say at 25 dollars as well and these are going to be uh, kind of very similar in the fit. They're going to be a little bit on the slimmer side as well. The armholes are going to be a little bit wider, so not super slim like the Supima Cotton Tees. And they're also going to be very, very soft like the Supima Cotton Tee. Very, very similar to that material. I really like these tees. They come in a variety of colors. I have them in a variety of colors. And especially um, for $25, not a bad price for a really great quality t-shirt. Now, the fourth t-shirt I have here, uh, this is just my personal preference. I wear a lot of Shockawear t-shirts, and right here I have the Shockawear drop shoulder garment dye. Uh, this is going to be a heavier t-shirt. This is going to be on that 7.5 ounce t-shirt. Super heavy. If you don't like this, type of material that thicker more coarse material on you i definitely wouldn't recommend this t-shirt at all i'd recommend going with something like the uniqlo uh supima cotton or airism now another top essential that i'm always wearing is going to be these uniqlo ribbed tanks uh, so these uniqlo rib tank tops wear them all the time especially if you're going to be layering so i like to get these 
rib tanks. They have them in a couple colors. White, black are typically what I'm getting. I think they offer them in gray, navy, and an olive green as well. Uh, fits super good, especially if you want more of that tighter fit on you. And I love to layer them with any sort of button-up shirt. So I have here button-up from Uniqlo. And I really like this piece right here because it doesn't have a collar. I just think it kind of stands out a little bit more from every other button-up. So I really like these. These run super cool. The material linen, really, really great in the summertime. And also have this camp collar button-up t-shirt from Uniqlo as well. I really love to layer these with the tank tops. I just think it feels a lot better having them opened up instead of closing the button-ups. I don't know, I just think it looks better in the summertime. Now, the last category of tops I'm gonna to be wearing during the summer are going to be graphic tees. Now, for these, I just think it's something when I just wanna have a super simple outfit, whether it's just a pair of jeans, cargos, and just a t-shirt on, I don't wanna worry about layering, carrying anything else with me. Graphic t-shirt, I think is does that job in terms of making your outfit pop a little bit more without adding a whole bunch of layers to it. And right here, I have two graphic tees that are some of my favorites. This one is from Kith, the Kith Marble Collaboration. This Wolverine t-shirt, I just think it looks super, super awesome. The material is super nice, made out of cotton. Now, the second graphic t-shirt I have from the brand Human Made. Really love this t-shirt as well. Have a whole bunch of graphic tees from Human Made. And I think these look great with either a pair of cargos, jeans, and even some trousers as well. If I just wanna give it more of that streetwear look. Moving on to category number three, accessories. I think accessories are a great option of elevating your outfit, especially when you're just wearing a pair of jeans or a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. It's really hard to add more to it, but I like to go ahead and always add a hat. I think a hat does a great option at making your outfit pop, whether it's like a regular dad hat or one of my favorite hats, the new era 5950 fitted. Uh, I have these in a whole bunch of different colors, especially for the summertime. I think this is something that will elevate my outfit and I can use it as a piece to kind of match with my sneakers or my pants or just kind of add a little bit more contrast to my outfit. I really like adding hats up there for the accessory. Second item, tote bags. Tote bags are really great or just any sort of bag that you can carry with you. Uh, for me, this human made bag is one of my favorites. I'm gonna be wearing a lot during the summertime. And when it comes to carrying a little bit more, I like this Supreme tote bag right here. It's more of a heavyweight canvas, so I can definitely go around carrying everything that I need in here. Uh, and I think it's gonna go ahead and elevate the outfit a lot more instead of you just looking plain, uh, walking around with just a t-shirt and a pair of jeans or shorts. Keychains, accessories, any of that, adding them to your jeans, shorts. For me, one of my favorite keychains is this human made keychain right here. I wear this all the time. It gives it a nice little pop of red uh, with whatever I'm wearing. Last but not least, sunglasses. Two things, protect your eyes from the sun. Second, I think it looks really, really great as a fashion statement. And for me, this pair of aviators from Ray-Ban is a pair that I'm gonna be rocking a lot during the summer. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for accessories, bags, hats, keychains, sunglasses. Very, very crucial for elevating your outfit. And those are gonna be some of my summer essentials that I'm gonna be wearing during the summer. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.